In this video, we're going to talk about the concept of pass by value. And that's something we've been doing in previous videos. I just wanted to explain exactly what's going on before we move on to arrays in the next video. Now here, of course, is where we are calling the batting function, and we are passing in two values here. One is a string, and one is an integer. Now these are called arguments, and so it is arguments that get passed into the parameters of the function. So here is the player parameter, and here is the distance parameter. And of course the function will go ahead and use these values that are in these parameters for our variable more and all of this gets added up and we will write it out at the end of this video. Now the key point of this video that we haven't really talked about is these aren't the actual values that are passed in. What happens is a copy is made of these values and then that is actually what gets passed into the parameters of the function. So these values here are unaffected. It is the copy of these values that gets passed into the function. So that's really all it is. It's pretty simple and it's called pass by value. Or you might even want to think of it as passing the copy of these values. Okay, so let's go ahead and run this and we should get a nice long sentence here. And we get Steve hit the ball 351 feet. Okay, that's going to do it for this video. It was a nice short and sweet video, but a very important point that I wanted to make about pass by value. In the next video, we will move on to arrays. See you guys then.